This program is brought to you by NewsClipTV.com. Make your own news. Register online and become a NewsClip TV reporter. NewsClip TV, your community news website. That's very nice. Now you see what Jeanette has just done? She has shook my hand, but she has become the dominant person by putting her hand over mine. Oh, already. Aha, uh -huh, you see? So you're a dom not dominating, but you like to be in control of the situation. So that's why you shake hands this way. Oh, I see. Interesting, huh? You are. How about you? Can I shake your hand? Nice to meet you. He has a very soft handshake, so he doesn't mind being dominated by this person. <laughs> Welcome to Persistence Pays TV. I'm your host, Lori Roudnask. One of the ways that I always have grown my business is by networking, by connecting with people. I love to go to events and meet someone new. A lot of people don't, and a lot of people have different ways of networking, but today you're gonna to learn something really, really important, and that is effective ways to network and to connect with people. In the studio today, I have Donna Messer, and she is a Can Canadian best-selling author of Effective Networking Strategies, and Donna, thanks so much for being here today. Thank you. I didn't have any difficulty traveling from Oakville to here. I got here. Your directions were fabulous. Perfect. Yeah. That's great. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. So Donna, tell me a little bit about yourself. I know you've had a couple of different businesses and, and uh, to kind of bring us up to speed to where you are and why you're doing what you're doing. So if you can give me just a little bit of a background. Okay. I'll talk great. fast, but I'll tell you, I started life as a banker yeah. and I went from banking to law and from law to having children. I had two. A boy and a girl and when my kids were in school I decided I would go back to work and it wasn't easy because when you've been out of work for a few years you've kind of lost track of things yeah. and your network dies so I decided that maybe I would have to create my own job so I became an entrepreneur and the definition of an entrepreneur from my perspective is you can't find a job so you create one That's perfect so I started a company called Orange Crate Herbs and Spices and Potpourri and I was Canada's first Spice Girl. I invented the blend of spices that goes into sour cream. So uh, I, it's a claim to fame, and I was in the right place at the right time, and I went from nothing to a million dollars in just over a year. Wow. Uh, stayed there for 10 years, sold the company, and then decided, hmm, what am I going to do next? So a friend of mine said, there's a job that's perfect for you. You should apply. It was for the Director of Agriculture for the state of Illinois. I don't know anything about American government. And they, oh, no, no, you can do it. So I applied, uh, took all of the stuff that I had done in the past. And I'm a writer. I've always been a writer, so I document what I do. And they hired me. So for seven or eight years, I was the director of agriculture for the state of Illinois in Canada, Iceland, and Greenland. Wow. Uh, during that time, I made a lot of really good connections. Mm -hmm. And I recognized that networking was probably the single most effective way for me to do this. And people started to hear about my track record and they would come to me and they would say, can you connect us? Well, I kept hearing this word, connect us, connect us, and I thought, wait a minute, why don't I coin that phrase? Why don't I get a website with connect us on it? Why don't I, I do all of the things that I tell other people to do and I utilized connect us? So in 1993, I registered it, I got a website, and if you know about television, anything, I was beginning. Nobody had anything. It was not a good site, but it was there. Yeah. And I decided that I would leave the government and I would start Connect Us, and I've never looked back. Great. So tell us what Connect Us is. Connect Us is, um, it's a matchmaker. It's a business connection. It's, hey, Lori, what are you doing? Well, I'm doing television shows. Oh, tell me about who you interview, what do you need? Well, I do. Ah, Lori, here's someone I know. Yeah. So it's giving people you know that will make the other person happy to know them. Right. It is not giving you someone who's going to sell you product or service. It is someone, it's making a connection where both sides win. I say it's taking a, a network into a we rather than a me. Right, because a lot of times when you are in a networking situation, it's all about what you want to give the, or sell the other person and a lot of times people go into networking into a function with 
what what's in it for them absolutely they all do it it's it's just human nature they go to a networking event they got their business cards they look the person in the eye they shake their hand they follow all the rules and regulations and they hand them the business card now if they're going to follow up they follow up and they say exactly what they're told we met you at and I sell windows now what happens is Bob the window seller hasn't found out if the people he's sending this information to have a house so why would they even want to know about his windows so I teach them to take all of the right stuff and say okay that's really good but what do you know about the person whose card you've got and I say that there's a systematic process that they have to go through so for instance if I had your business card yeah. then what I would do is I would go on your website I would check out your website and I would find something that you and I have in common so that if I'm going to reconnect with you I'm going to give you a gift of someone or something that will make you want to know me that's what networking is that's great uh, so today you have an opportunity take that opportunity and let's say that um, I want to know more about this studio you've given me Mo's address you've mm -hmm. given me every bit of information I want to find out more about Mo so I'm going to go on his website I'm going to check everything out and I'm going to reconnect with him saying if it weren't for Lori this would not have happened right okay so now I'm going to I'm going to check it out that's my opportunity now I want to contact him again so I am going to say to him when I leave I would like to reconnect with you how best should I connect with you he says well, send me an email he gets a lot of email so I'm going to ask him what should I put in the subject line to make sure that you know I'm not spamming you right so he said well put Lori's name on it okay so I put met you with Lori okay so that's fine so there's my opportunity contact explore I need to explore as much as I can about him so that when I actually start working and building a relationship with him I'm giving him things that are valuable to him that is not me selling a product or service I'm building a relationship that says this woman is real she is not phony she walks her talk she's the person she says she is yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna find out what she's all about so opportunity contact explore strategy strategy how can I come up with a strategy that says if you and I start looking at how something can can work maybe both of us are gonna have measurable results so my strategy has to be at least in a written form so I can show it to him he can say yes or no it might or may not work so strategy okay now negotiate okay we are lousy Canadians are the world's worst negotiators <laughs> you know are you gonna get paid for this oh well I haven't really talked about it but I think they're going to no you put your cards on the table and you say look if I do this will you do that so there's no guess there's no yeah there's no, no guesswork it's there so we both know what we're coming from so we go opportunity contact explore strategize negotiate solution and that solution should be measurable for both of us so for the new business owner, the small business owner, the you know someone who's never been to a, an event before, mm -hmm. that might be thinking, well, how, where do I go? How do I know what to say? Um, how do I connect with people? Well, there's a strategy, and the strategy is where are you going? Well, I'm going to go to a chamber meeting. Okay, find out what they wear. Are they suits? Are they jeans? Yeah. Find out the kinds of people that are there. There's probably a directory. Take a look at the directory find out if you have an opportunity to do one minute on the mic find out so that when you go you don't look like an idiot right and you know what you can go to these usually you can oh. go to your first one as a guest yeah one or two one or two meetings see if there's a fit for you absolutely see what their mandates are yep. and if and if it's gonna work then the next tip is who do you know that's gonna be there right because if you have someone who is a chamber member ask them if they can be your kind of lead because they can break the ice and make the introductions mm -hmm. now you might also want to look at service clubs because service yeah. clubs have a great deal to offer so you might want to look at uh, Lions Club you might want to look at Rotarians you might want to look at Civitans you might want to look at all of those and think okay how can I build a relationship with business for one of those kinds of, of organizations and you can right. because oftentimes small businesses are looking to get their feet wet and if they work with a charity or a not-for-profit they can give as well as get and if you already go to networking events it's so important if you see someone standing over by a wall 
go up and introduce yourself. Absolutely. Because it could be their first event. They may never have been there before and they're a little bit shy to come up and talk to someone. That happened this morning. I was at a breakfast meeting. I met two people who had never been there before and I asked them to come and join me at my table. And they so loved again, you. And you know, again, it's, it's how can you help other people uh, so that they're feeling more comfortable because they may never have been there before. Laurie, the minute you do that, they automatically get that warm, fuzzy feeling, she helped me. They're going to take your card, they're going to remember what you did, and chances are they're going to reconnect with you and say, I really appreciated what you, do, you did. Is there anything that we could do to help you? And it was a pleasure for me to meet Absolutely. them too. It was a new contact for me, so yeah. it really is a win-win. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's easy. Now, you and I have, uh, we've known each other for a bit, right? Yeah, uh, there's a similarity between us. You and I both have the same, I, I'm going to say, kind of style. We're very outgoing, and we are the kinds of people that break the ice. So sometimes people uh, go, oh my God, they're too strong. Yep. I don't want to be near them. And sometimes they go, gosh, I got to follow this person because they're going to make me feel really good. Yep. So um, I would like to be able to say to you, okay, what can I do to help you? And you, I think, want to say, well, what can what I do, can to, I do help to help you? you? That's so right. I'm going to give you the gift. I'm going to write about you. Okay, because this program should be um, probably, I can send you all kinds of interviews if you're interested. That's awesome. So yeah. if you said to me, well, Donna, I'm looking for uh, people who are in the following industries. I probably got them. Yeah. I can make the introduction. You can see if they fit. If they do fit, good points for me. Right. Good points for you. Good for them. And you know, the whole, the whole reason for me wanting to do this show in the first place is really to showcase people and their businesses and Lovely. what they do because in business you have to be persistent absolutely and if we're persistent it pays off connecting with people pays uh and and really it's just how can we each help each other Isn't to that get the nice? word out can i give you a couple of of helpful hints absolutely that'd be great okay i brought the 12 crucial consumer trends for 2012. uh if anyone is interested i'm happy to share those trends now if it's a business person if it's an organization those trends are important in raising awareness and growing your business. Absolutely. It could be that uh, those 12 crucial trends could be people who are practicing and doing whatever those trends are, and they could be great interviews. As a journalist, I get all this stuff. Yeah. So that makes me more valuable than someone who's standing next to me. Not because I'm bigger or better, but because I have stuff information well this sheet here you know that you gave me is just a wealth of information and Donna where can they get this it's um, it's the um, it's all my list it's of resources read me first read me first it's a list of resources Laurie it's dynamite if you want to be on a government board I've given you the addresses for provincial and federal boards I will help you to walk you through what you do in order to find out whether there's a board that suits you yeah. and how do you get to it because I know I've sat on these boards. Like, like this is a quick reference guide for anything Absolutely. that you need. And it's, they're all email websites or, uh, or email addresses and there's always a, either a key connection or a little description. Well you sure do know how to connect people and connect businesses and help other people win. And uh, thanks for being on the show, Donna. Fabulous. And you've been a wealth of information. And, if, and how can people find out more about you? Well, they can go to my website, www.connectuscanada.com. They can call me, 905-337-9578. My office is in Oakville. It's 323 Kerr Street, Suite 202. And uh, I am going to be in Hamilton for a McMaster conference uh, on the 25th, I think. And I will be back... I'm going to be doing an IEP conference, and that is for international educated professionals, and that's in downtown Toronto, and they're expected between 1,500 and 2,000 people. Well, thanks very much for being here and sharing your knowledge. We really great. appreciate it. Thank you. So if you want to know how to connect, you want to connect with Donna. Thanks for being, in, being here, and if you know anybody that would like to be on the Persistence Pays TV show, be sure to visit me at persistencepays.ca.